Almost every one of us now carries an amazing digital camera around in our pockets every day. But most of those photos never end up anywhere other than Instagram. Portable or instant printers aim to change that. These handy, pocket-sized devices will let you take your best phone photos and print them out wherever you are, while throwing on effects, filters, and other fun additions in the process. What's up, guy? Welcome back to our channel. And today video, we take a look at the six best portable photo printers that you can get your hand on this year. And if you want more information, we also put the link in the description box down below. Thanks. Let's get started with the video. Starting up our list with number six, we have the Kodak P300R Mini 3 Retro, our best pick for portable printer. The Kodak Mini 3 Retro was one of the easiest portable printers to set up and use. Settings were easy to find in the companion app and the battery gauge had an actual percentage, letting us know exactly how much power was left. It was also simple to print multiple copies of photos. While we had no issues connecting the Kodak Mini 3 Retro to our smartphones through Bluetooth, printing photos wasn't nearly as easy. The sample print cartridge that the printer came with refused to work forcing the printer to insist that combination paper and ink cartridge needed to be replaced. The print cartridge came out easily enough but replacing it was a different story. The first replacement cartridge we tried refused to be seated inside of the printer. It felt like there was something preventing the cartridge from sliding into the empty compartment. However, we had success with a second replacement cartridge and finally got the printer to function. That said, it felt like there was some sort of resistance when we attempted to swap the cartridge out. After dealing with our cartridge woes, we discovered another issue. Once the printing process begins, you can't minimize the Mini 3 app to start browsing social media or quickly respond to an email. The moment the app is minimized, the printer will stop printing. The app must remain open at all times or you will have to start the process all over again. This was the only printer where we ran into this issue. Once the Mini 3 Retro's photos were printed, they proved quite impressive. From beautiful blues to bold reds, the printer handled colors with ease. We did however notice the printer had issues printing areas with fine detail. Thin tree branches and strands of hair came through slightly pixelated and didn't reflect the original photos. We also found the Kodak Mini 3 Retro didn't have quite as many filters or stickers to add to your photos as some of the other competitors. At number 5, we have Instax Mini Link. Best pick for Instax printer. The Instax Mini Link is the latest portable printer from Fujifilm and uses Fujifilm's Instax Mini Film. The Mini Link looks great with funky color options and a young and fresh feel. It connects to your phone through the Mini Link app and Bluetooth, and also supports Fujifilm X series cameras. It can't connect to social media networks, however, so you can only print photos from your device. From the app, you can access your image library and choose frames and options, including split prints, separating one photo into two prints and collages. You can edit photos within the app with color filters and dials to change the brightness, contrast, and saturation. The printer has a speed of around 12 seconds per print, supports continuous printing, and can print up to 100 photos on a single charge. Photos come out clear, crisp, and vibrant on the mini film, and after printing, there's a handy button to get a second copy instantly. Fun options include a match test that prints out a photo with a compatibility score between two people, and the party print mode that allows users to add photos from up to five phones to create one in Stacks print. You can even use the printer as a remote control for your smartphone camera, tilting the printer back and forth to zoom in and out. At number four, we have the Kodak Smile, our best pick for portability. The Kodak Smile printer is a simple bit of kit, but it gets the job done. The design is similar to that of the HP Sprocket 200 and actually almost identical in size, but you get more color options here with blue, red, white, green, and black. As with that sprocket, it's a sleek device that is rectangular in shape with rounded corners. Like the sprockets, it uses zinc prints. They aren't the highest quality, but they're a great way to get your favorite photos off your phone and into a real print or sticker. The Kodak fares well on print quality with fairly true-to-life colors, but smaller details are lost. For scenic shots and portraits, it does the job. The Smile app, iOS and Android, has a decent array of editing options, from exposure adjustment to frames and stickers, and it lets you pull photos from your phone itself or off your social media. You can use the app to embed a video into prints, which you can scan using your phone to watch back. You might notice that Kodak also makes a Smile instant camera, which doubles as a printer for the same price. That might make the camera model seem like better value, but bear in mind that it only prints photos transferred over micro SD rather than wirelessly and has more limited editing options. If your focus is printing from your phone, the dedicated smile printer is a better bet. 
At number 3, we have the Instax Share SP3, our best pick for square prints. There are cheaper instant printers than the Instax Share SP3. However, what we particularly like about the SP3 is the format. It's currently the only dedicated portable printer that uses square prints. Printing from your smartphone with the Instax Share printer is easy. You simply download the free app from Google Play or the Apple App Store. Choose an image from your photo gallery or social media, add a template and edit as required, then hit print. As you'd expect, there are also various templates that let you add captions with a seasonal message, such as happy birthday, or the time and date, weather or even an Instagram or Facebook status. Despite the larger prints, the Instax Share is still portable at 312 gram and comes with a rechargeable battery that should be good for around 160 shots when fully charged and you can top it up with the included micro USB cable. LED at the front let you see at a glance when you're running low on power or paper. If you prefer the classic mini format, the Instax Share SP2 offers similar functionality, but prints in the smaller Instax Mini format, but the more recent Instax Mini Link is probably the better choice. At number 2, we have the LifePrint 2 by 3 Hyperphoto Printer, our best pick for lightweight. At 4.5 by 3 by 1 inches, the LifePrint 2 by 3 Hyperprint was by far the smallest we tested and the lightest at 7 ounces. It was also by far the fastest with photos taking around 30 seconds to print. Some of this speed comes from the fact that LifePrint uses ink technology to print its photos. Since the ink is incorporated into the sheets of paper, you don't have to worry about loading a bulky 2-in-1 paper or ink cartridge. But the resulting 2x3 photographs were the worst of any portable photo printer we tested for this guide. The images were very soft, lacking any crisp detail, and we noticed subtle artifacts in areas of solid color. The colors were also muted compared to the other printers. On the positive side, the LifePrint app did have a lot of customization options, including the unique ability to turn a still photo into a short video through augmented reality. While using the app, you can hover your camera over a photo and it will magically come to life for a few seconds. It's extremely gimmicky, but it is kind of neat the first few times you try it out. This printer also boasts its own social network to share videos and images. Looking at some of the features, its clear life print is aiming at a younger audience and one that may prioritize fun over actual print quality. The last product on our list is the Polar White High Print, the best overall portable photo printer available on the 2022 market. With its playful, sturdy design and above-average print quality, the Polaroid High Print is the most well-rounded portable printer of all the models we tested. At 6x3x1 inches in size, the High Print has roughly the same dimensions as a large-screen smartphone, albeit a bit thicker. Its glossy white finish is accented by a rainbow of colors that wrap around one end of the printer, so you'll never have to deal with being unable to find it in your bag or backpack. Connecting it to a smartphone via Bluetooth was simple, as was installing the combination paper and ink cartridge that the high print uses to create 2 by 3 inch prints of your photos. Step-by-step -step instructions are included in the high prints companion app. Within minutes, we have the printer set up and ready to start printing pictures. During testing, we never felt the need to pick up the product's instruction manual or jump online for assistance. In addition to allowing your phone to communicate with the high print, the companion app provides a number of basic editing tools that allow you to change the framing of the shot you're about to print alter it with a filter, or deck it out with colorful digital stickers. While there are a lot of more powerful paid and free image editing apps out there, having these options built into the app is a nice touch. You can even use the app to capture new photos using the app without the need to switch over to your smartphone's camera interface. The High Print wasn't the fastest printer that we tested for this guide. However, it isn't so slow to deliver printed photos that one might consider it irritating either. Although the high print didn't offer the best image quality of all the models we tested for this guide, its prints were still crisp and largely true to the digital photos we used during testing. We noted a tendency for this printer to tone down some of the brighter colors captured in our test photos. However, this is an issue that can be sidestepped by tweaking the color saturation of an image before sending it to the printer. All things considered, a bit of color desaturation is a small price to pay for how pleasurable the high print is to use.